Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. How's the interior look on this, Rich? It's just like it did when James Dean drove it. Minus the CD player, right? Minus the CD player. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for joining us on today's video. Wow, you already know that this is a beautiful car, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. But most importantly, there's a really great question. The question is, why do they make replica cars? You say, well, why do they make replica cars? Well, the truth of the matter is, the reason they make replica cars is because the originals are so expensive and they're so great looking that there is a market for a car like this. Imagine going someplace in this car. Some of these cars now uh, in this version have crested the $250,000 mark. Are you driving your $250,000 60 or 70 year old car somewhere where something could happen to it? Most people do not. They just sit on display. They become part of a museum. Here's an opportunity to get something out on the road. My second point to that is there are different levels of replicas. You can buy a very inexpensive replica, this will not be that car, or you can buy the very best replica that's out there, and that's this car right here. So if you want a car that is well built, built on a factory, so for instance, like a kit car. Kit cars are built by maybe you or me in our garage, all different ways we decide to build cars. We might use metric tools, we didn't have any, so we used SAE all kinds of different ways. This is built at the factory. It's built by Beck, it's built by them, and they deliver a complete turnkey car. That's what you want. That's like when you buy uh, a Shelby Cobra, the continuation series. It's built on an assembly line by the same people day in and day out who know what they're doing. Not like, I'm not gonna say you, but maybe me. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I shouldn't be building a kit car. That's why I spend a lot of time talking about the quality of the car. When we walk around here, you're going to see some of the things that make it authentic and some of the things that make it even a better driver as well. Let's start with the paint because the paint is significantly nicer on here than it was in the factory circa 1950s. Let's take a peek here and I'll do our little test so we can see. I want you to see how clear all of those letters are. All right, so a lot of people will say, well, Tone, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. So let's talk about that for a second. When you talk about the speed, so you talk about the short windshield, because it looks just great in here. Uh, we talk about the headlight guards, the fog lights, these come off, right? The correct chrome wheels, 15 inch. So if you wanted to put even bigger brakes on there, you could, but this came with a really big brake set on it because it was, believe it or not, it had huge corner speed. Maybe it didn't have top end speed or a drag kind of car, but it handled so well it didn't have to. Here we have the Ruder badge where uh, it was built. I'm sure I'm uh, pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, if I was German or Austrian, uh, even though it's built in Stuttgart, uh, I have butchered it, so let me apologize ahead of time for that. But here's what we're talking about, how beautiful all of this is put together. As we migrate our way just around the back and finish this off, the gold emblems are in place, right? The dual exhaust, Super 90 style. The center vent in the engine compartment there. This is just really nicely done, very authentic and very original looking. All right, so I want to take a peek under here because I want to show you, believe it or not, there's a lot of quality wrapped up in here. For instance, a full carpet kit is in here. A lot of these replicas and things like that are left raw. This has a full size spare. It has the Beck Speedster uh, tag right here that shows this car being authentic and the chassis number and what have you, okay? A couple things that Colin even pointed out was like these cadmium bolts. They may not seem like a big deal to you, but the fact of the matter is they won't rust so quickly as regular bolts. So you say, well, Tone, what do we care about bolts? You're absolutely right. But if this bolt is 10 times the price of a regular bolt, that just gives you an idea of the quality of the overall assembly of the car.
I just wanted to show you real quick. This is a full tono cover, which is really nice. So let's just say you didn't want to put the convertible top up. This zips in the center, so both of you can ride in the car, one of you can ride in the car, and then you just zip it up because it's already snapped in place and it keeps the interior dry, it keeps the seats cool, because if you went somewhere in the middle of the day, the seats could potentially get hot. If you've ever left your convertible top down, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it keeps the dirt out of the interior, so it stays really, really nice. And you'll see when we get inside the car how really, really nice it is. It also has the clip-in windows here uh, with the convertible top that's underneath the uh, convertible top tonneau cover. And then we can look at the rear of the car as well. All right, so come on here. Let's take a quick peek. I want you just to look at the detail. Twin side draft carburetors, all aluminum motor. Just everything, detailed, painted, stickers, the bolts are all nice and shiny. Everything is just still in just great shape. And that's kind of the, what I'm talking about when you talk about a car. Some people build cars with quality components. Some people build cars just to flip them. This is not one of those cars. All right, so before I get in, I just want to show you a couple of things. There's two seats molded in back here. So you, theoretically, you could have cushions made and add another set of seat belts for the kids or maybe a pet or something like that. It's kind of cool to take uh, uh, your pet out with you. But the thing I do like to show is just how really roomy these cars are. So that looks a little small, but they've done such a great job. First off, the engine's back there, so you pick up all this extra room. And then I'm 6'1", and so when I get in, I still have so much room. I, can, I can't even touch the, I can extend my legs fully in the car. And then a couple small upgrades upgraded digital sound system. We just put this here for you and we can move that decal for you. It's just a sticker that we put on there. Uh, just showing you uh, that so that it has a little uh, cut off. Uh, kind of like a safety feature built in as well. 200 mile an hour speedometer, sorry, 200 kilometer an hour speedometer, 6,000 RPM TAC, uh, full gauges on the dash, full gauges here as well. The seats, fabulous. Even like the Coco mats. Like look how good and beautiful they go. I just want to show you real quick the carpet in here. The condition of this car is exemplary. Exemplary on how really nicely done it is and well taken care of. The cognac interior, the shifter so close and nice and tight. And I have to tell you, when you drive it, it rides really nice. It's four-wheel independent suspension in this car, which is way ahead of its time. And American cars weren't doing that for uh, years, years later. Uh, not that I don't love American cars, but this car really is. When you go down the road in this car, hey, look at this thing, man. It is beautiful. Anyway, uh, I think you have a great time inside. All right, so we close up this video. Listen, they're building less than 50 of these a year. Some years, 25 of them, okay? It is rare. It is a factory-built, assembly-line-built car built by craftsmen who do this every single day. You want that. You don't want a kit car that I assembled, although I could probably do it. This is done by professionals. That's why the pieces inside are so great. That's why the windshield is a big part of the car. And like there's a lot of safety stuff built in. It has shoulder restraints and it has a modern stereo as well. So you have some nice touches. Today's modern pieces that make for a great driving car, but it still looks authentic. And if something happened to it, it's okay. If it got a little damage, it's okay. We can fix that versus maybe driving the real thing. That's why I say uh, 57 Porsche 356, you need this car in your garage. Call us 301-816-1000, tell you all about it, or click on the link below and we'll uh, help you with pictures and pricing.